Greetings, captains, and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. I welcome you aboard this Delta Connection flight service from Las Vegas, Nevada to San Diego, California. For our flight today, we're going to be flying at a final cruising altitude of 18,000 feet, and our approximate flight time is 45 minutes. I am using X-Enviro in this video, and of course we're using the J. Roland CRJ200 version 1.7 which has been recently updated and is available on the X-Plane Org and the X-Aviation websites. Welcome to the flight deck, Captains. Let's go ahead and uh, prep the aircraft for our departure. So first thing first is the battery is on. All right, let's cancel those and let's open the APU door. We'll wait for it to appear. There it is. And now we can start the APU. All right, looks like the APU is now available. Let's go ahead and turn on, I guess, something called like the APU bleed. Um, all right, so that's on. APU gen is on. And what else is here? Passenger signs and non smoking signs can go on. Emergency light is armed. And now we're pretty much done with the um, with the overhead panel for now. Okay, let's go ahead and align the IRS so both are set on nav. And now we can begin preparing the FMC or FMS position initialization. We are at Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra. And today we're going to be going to Kilo Sierra Alpha November. All right, 224 nautical miles. And we're going to be departing today, Las Vegas runway 25 right through the um, Boach 6 departure and the Tango. November Papa, which is 29 Palms transition, and execute. And we're going to be arriving into San Diego through the Lindy 4 Star, through the Tango November Papa transition, and we're going to. Um, yeah, we're going to do a visual approach, runway 27, through the Lindy transition, and let's execute that. Okay, let's go to the legs page, make sure there are no discos, and looks like there is one there, so let's clear it. Alright, discontinuity is now cleared. Okay, so everything looks okay in terms of our plan. Uh, let's go ahead and set our altitude. Let me take this away, bring this here. Okay, ours is not aligned, do not taxi. Okay. So the altitude today is going to be 18,000. Oh, it's already set right there. Okay. And let's set our vertical speed to 2,500 feet per second. And let's arm nav. Let's arm the flight director. And everything is set here. All right. Let's go ahead and hide the yoke here for a minute. And set our V speeds. Okay, so our V1 today is 126. V rotate is 134. And V2 is 134. And our target speed is 164. There we go, and that is set. Let's go ahead and grab the altimeter real quick. Well, what's going on with the map? Hmm. All right, let's try something else here. No, the map doesn't doesn't want to work. Hmm. All right, uh, I think the altimeter, according to the flight plan, is 3009er, which is already set here. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and nav source need to be on FMS. 
And let's go ahead and change this to map. Let me reduce range a bit so we can see what's going on. Okay, so everything is set over here. Everything is set over there. Everything looks good to me. All right. Uh, let me turn on the all dampers because I have a tendency to forget that. And now, folks, we are ready to start our engines. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So ignition, and we'll start with the right engine. All right, we'll wait for 19% of N2, and we'll give it some fuel. And we'll wait for the engine to stabilize. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and start engine number two, or the left engine. There we go. And now we can give it some fuel. I think this is not correct. I think it kind of jumped to 20, uh, where it should actually kind of slowly move to uh, 19. It kind of jumped to 20. Well, that's fine. Okay, so... We have, I think, uh, both engines are now stable. And now we can go ahead and turn the generators on. We can kill the APU, ignition no longer needed. And we can turn off the APU. Oh, we didn't uh, turn on the beacon. So beacon on, nav is on. Uh, logo's fine. Let's turn on our hydraulics. All right, so hydraulics are on. And everything appears to be okay to me. Taxi on. And we're pretty good, uh, pretty much good to go. All right, flaps are set for departure. Let's bring back the yoke if we can. There it is. Okay. I think that's a good field of view. Let's release the parking brake and let's taxi to the runway. Alright folks, this is our turn uh, to runway 25 right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the aircraft to a final stop here before we take off. Alright, let's set the parking brake and let's get things ready for departure. Strobe lights, landing lights. Alright, cabin crew advised and let's release the parking brake and line up with the runway. Alright, we are now lined up with the runway and let's go ahead and do full power. I really wish I could turn off this uh, feature, you know, the uh, runways follow contour. Positive rate, gear up. Right, and let's begin retracting the flaps. I'll ease off on the throttle now. And let's check our speed. Now we're fine. Need to adjust pitch a bit. We'll take it to about 250 knots. Okay, let's go ahead and engage the autopilot at this point. Now I'm not sure why the um, the instrument panel here looks a bit washed out. 
Um, I know it doesn't look like that in X-Plane 10, so not really sure. So let's go ahead and increase speed a bit here. Alright, Captain, so we continue our climb and we just uh, passed 10,000 feet so we can turn off the landing lights and everything else appears to be alright. Let me try to uh, increase our speed a bit to maintain 250 knots, but everything else uh, looks okay to me. We just leveled off at our final cruising altitude of 18,000 feet and we need to bring the power back a bit. Um, because this aircraft is not equipped with a, an auto throttle, so we have to maintain uh, our speed. I will keep it at about 260 knots. I think that's a good speed. And everything else appears to be alright. Uh, we'll go ahead and check our flight plan real quick, but let's look at X Enviro because I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at our flight plan. So we are at Zelma. Uh, we're still quite away from uh, from San Diego, but it appears that there is a restriction here at 19,000. We need to go below 19,500, which we're fine because we are going to maintain 18,000 feet. Okay, so that's good. And okay, so. Let us think about uh, our top of descent. Uh, there are two ways we can um, we can do this. The first one is let's go to next and see what is the final. Okay, so we need to be at 2,000 or above 2,000 uh, before we before we land. So that's the final approach altitude. Okay. Okay, and we are at 18,000 feet, so the difference is 16,000 feet. So that would be either we begin the descent 56 nautical miles away from San Diego, okay, or we could begin the descent when we are about, let's see here, so the difference is 16. So about 18 minutes from San Diego, we begin the descent at 1,000 feet per minute. And that should put us at 2,000 feet, two minutes before we are actually um, within the airport vicinity. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how many miles are left and we'll compare that with the time that left. This is a great feature in, in this aircraft is that it gives you the remaining time and it gives you the remaining total uh, nautical miles uh, uh, for the destination, which I think is, is, a, is a great feature. So uh, right before the top of the descent, as we get closer, I will come back and check uh, back with you guys, and uh, we'll figure out you know, what we want to do for our top of descent calculation. Until then, enjoy the ride, and relax, and I will see you in just a little while. Welcome back, Captains. Uh, I think, um, looking at the flight plan, I think we need to descend pretty soon. Uh, so there is a restriction um, just in about 30 nautical miles. We need to be above 10,000 and then above 8,000. So we're getting pretty close now to San Diego. Let's take a look here at the time. So we are about 14 minutes, or 69 nautical miles, and my initial calculation was so that we needed to descend at about right now. Um, so, it, yes, so 13 minutes, 15 minutes, yeah, something like that, or 56 nautical miles. But it looks like we need to begin our descent now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the altitude to 12,000. All right, so that's 12,000. And let's go ahead and click on vertical speed 
and will descend at about 1,000 feet per minute. Now, watch out because the speed is going to increase, so we need to ease off on the throttle to maintain our speed, which we need to be at 270 knots, according to... Yes, so we need to be at 270 knots. So, I think we should be fine. We should be able to clear uh, 5,000 feet. And everything appears to be okay at the moment. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch to external view and look at X Enviro. Yeah, looks alright. Looks pretty good. Alright, so let's do one final check, just to make sure everything is okay. Uh, 30 nautical miles, and we're descending at about a thousand feet per minute. We've got two minutes, so we will probably not be at 12,000 uh, in two minutes from now. But we will be close, so what I'll, I'll leave everything as it is, and hopefully uh, we will be just fine. Okay, so I'll see you guys in just a little while. Okay, so we are descending now, and I think we need to be very careful. Um, so we are now going to be... Um, okay, so this is the transition to our uh, star. Yes, okay. So now we are 10 nautical miles and we need to be, uh, we're still pretty high. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase the rate of descent. Okay, so let's take it to about, uh, let's say, 1400. We'll make it 1500 feet per minute. And we need to ease off again on the throttle. And we'll start, uh, actually, you know what? Start reducing our speed to 250 knots. Okay, so we're going to hit 10,000 feet uh, pretty soon. All right, folks. Uh, I think it is uh, time for us to. Uh, actually, we should have set the altimeter a long time back. Uh, so the altimeter is uh, 3009, and it is set now. We are coming to 10,000 feet, so let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Okay, lights are on, and everything else appears to be alright, so let's take a look here, what's going on here. So we are about 8 minutes from San Diego, and we're doing fine in terms of altitude. I think we need to decrease the altitude to 6,000, let me go ahead and do that. Set the vertical speed once more to 1400 feet per minute. Okay, let's take a look here. So we need to be above 8000 here, above 6100, 5, 4, 3600, 2500, then 2000. Okay, so I think we're doing okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start reducing our speed just a bit. As you can see, we are actually pretty close now to San Diego. All right, and as we make the turn now, uh, I think we're actually now pretty close to... Uh, that's... yeah, we're pretty close now, so let me go ahead and adjust the range a bit. Um, all right, so there we go. So that is San Diego. We are right here. We're actually uh, closing in now. So let me check here. Okay, so above 5,000. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reduce the... or I'm going to decrease our altitude now and take it all the way to 2,000, which is our final approach altitude uh, today for our flight. All right, 2,000. And let's go ahead and set the vertical speed to 1,000 feet per minute. Oh, our speed has really... I've been paying attention. It's really challenging flying this aircraft because it, there are a lot of things that you need to do, 
and watch out for. So it, it really is a uh, fun aircraft to fly. Now I think that's the airport. We're getting pretty, pretty close now. So I think, you know what, I'm going to keep the uh, speed right there at uh, about 185 knots. And we'll continue our descent. That's the airport. Alright, so I've armed the um, speed brake and the reverse thrust and that's the airport right there we continue our descent and as we begin our turn i'm going to reduce speed to 100 okay so there we go so i'm going to reduce our speed now to about 160 knots All right let's uh no that's not what i wanted to do and we don't need that so that's the runway ahead of us Alright, and we're going to reduce our speed now, and we're going to take it to 2,000 feet. Alright, so let's go ahead and reduce. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reduce flaps. And that will also help us decrease our speed. So now we need to just really maintain our uh, watch for our speed, and uh, maintain a descent, and maintain 2,000. And I think pretty soon, I think I'm going to just go ahead and take over uh, from the autopilot. Right, let's introduce second degree flaps. And let's select gear down. Captains, at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and take over from the autopilot. I think our speed is too low. All right, so we need to bring it to about 140 knots. Yeah, we're almost at 2,000. All right, so let me just stabilize here at 140 knots. Okay, let me go ahead and take over from the autopilot now. Alright, and it's my plane. Alright, we need to maintain 140 knots. And all is well for our approach now. It's very difficult to see the, uh, the actual numbers on the instrument panel. So, I kind of have to keep the... Uh, Oh, look at that. That scene is just really beautiful. Alright, let me take this so you guys can enjoy the approach. And I'll try to just figure out what the speed is. I think we're doing fine. By the way, there's another thing I noticed in in this aircraft. Now, I'm not sure if this is something indigenous to X-Plane or is it the aircraft, but there are no call-outs. So, I think they're missing. And I'm using the custom sound set for this aircraft, but uh, there is still no, um, no call-outs. Oh, that scene is just really phenomenal. It looks absolutely great. Okay, and Flaps full. I think we're a bit too high. Should be all right. Oh, look, there is a power line. Oh, my gosh, look at that power line. We're so low. Well, I hope we didn't hit that power line. That power line just really... Alright, here we go. Alright, and reversers are out.
and welcome to San Diego Captains. Captains, I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.